Sticky Fingers, June 10th. Uh, as always, shout out to my man Haas. How's it going, buddy? Okay. Now, because I have to turn the phone around, I can't see where the camera is pointing at, but I'm assuming you can see the two hives there that are sitting there, and you can see bees coming and going out of them. Uh, when I get a little bit closer, I'll try and get a close-up picture of it. Um, last time I took videos, I took four videos, and two of them were mostly of the sky, so I didn't bother to upload them, because what was the point? Um, but anyway, uh, it's June 10th, and I've let my queen cells mature quite a bit now, so some of them may have hatched, but I hope not, because i got multiple queen cells in the hives. And so what I have to do is go through the hives uh, as best I can, and take out any extra queen cells and leave just one queen cell per hive and possibly make a couple little uh, new baby hives with queen cells in them. And then once I do that, then I'll have however many queens I got. So if I got five queen cells, potentially I have five queens. Uh, there's no guarantee, of course, because they don't all hatch. And then if they do hatch, all the queens don't necessarily get mated. And if you don't have a mated queen, then you don't have a, a viable hive. And I've had mated queens before that didn't lay any eggs, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's my plan for today, is to try and sort through all my hives and make sure I have working queens, um, sorry, one queen cell per hive. Now, right now, I have two working queens at the other end of the yard. I had a queen in that, you can see the white hive with the yellow on top. I had a working queen in that hive, but I put her in my pink hive at the other end because it's a much bigger hive and it has queenless. So now hopefully it's full of brood and, 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 and some bees. But those bees take 21 days to hatch out of their shell. So there won't be any extra workers in there right now. So I'm not sure how well that hive is doing. I haven't checked it yet. That's my next stop. Anyway, I'm going to try and take some video, and I can see lots of activity there, so that's a really good sign. Uh, it's bad if they're robbing the hives, but I don't think that's going on there. And the holes are small enough that even if there's only a few guard bees in there, they can protect the hive from potential robbers. See, bees will take their sugar source from anywhere, and they don't care if they take it from other bees or not. That's why you have to really uh, be sure that you don't have any diseases in your hive, because if there's a disease in one of my hive... Uh, the other bees will go into that hive to take honey from it, and they'll catch that disease. Anyway, here goes nothing. Sorry if I'm looking at the wrong spot, because the, the lens is over on this side, but my when I'm looking at the hive, I look on that, or the camera, I look on that side, so I'm not looking into the, the, the lens. Like, right now I'm looking into the lens, but I can't see the picture, so it's screwing me up. Anyway, uh, more technical issues. I'm going to pause it. It's been going for three minutes now. Um, I'll get suited up, and chances are by the time I'm done suited up, it will have frozen, and then I'll go to reset it, and I'll have to start all over again. So this particular ramble may or may not make it onto the internet. We will see. All right, pause. This time, I remembered the duct tape right off the bat. Duct tape's very important. Hand your man secret weapon. That's a red green reference, which you won't get a hoss, but ask your ask your dad about it, he can tell you. Every little bit I unpause it, so hopefully it doesn't time out on me. As you can see, I'm almost suited up, but not quite. <laughs> I just got buzzed by a bee. I'm in the middle of their hive there, setting up my, my equipment that I might need. And I just had one go zing right past my head. They do not like me here right now. You see the sky out here. It's all gray and overcast and a little bit rainy. And I've been told by my beekeeping mentor that the bees really do not like this weather at all. And they don't like you screwing around their house in this weather at all. So they're likely to be cranky today. Which is why I have a bee suit. And I'm gonna let set up my smoker. One of the things I always have problems with is keeping my smoker lit. So I put in some uh, lighter fluid and hopefully that helps. 
We'll see. Now the last time I was here, I put some grafted queen cells into this white and yellow hive here. So we will see if any of them took. I've been trying to graft queen cells for a long time this year. I have not been able to do it yet. Ah, oh, look at that. See all them ants? That makes me mad. Ants are bad. Ants can destroy everything. <laughs> it's probably working good this time. Usually it never works at all. Those ants just ticked me right off. I'll have to do something about that. Those are my queen cells. Um, I'm gonna say that the graft didn't take, <laughs> unless that's one giant queen cell. Okay. Maybe this one here has a queen in it. Maybe. But I can't tell. Ah! But there's definitely a queen cell on this one, on both sides. Those are queen cells that they made. That's why my graphs didn't take, because they had a couple of larvae on here. So I'll show you. See, right here, oh, I need the three hands. Right there where my finger is, that's a queen cell that the bees made. That means there was a larvae there and they piled around it and they made it the queen cell. On this side over here is another queen cell. There it is. See that peanut thing? That's a queen cell. Now, if I were to cut that off of there, oh I can't do it, it's a solid, it's a solid frame. That's worth 50 bucks a piece, those things. Well, technically they're worth 35, but then when you add in shipping, it's 50 bucks. That's why my graphs didn't take, because they already had two queen cells of their own. If they've already got their own queen cells, they won't make mine. Oh, there's a whole bunch of brood on here too. This is right full of honey and brood. Beautiful. Oh, there's a baby bee being born. I'll try and show you. This is getting to be a long video. You want to skim past the first four minutes. Another queen cell. Okay. Hopefully this works when I try and show it to you. So, if you can see where my finger is pointing, that's a queen cell right there. Okay? But that's important. We need those. The other thing I wanted to show you. Oh, I can't see it now. I seen it there a minute ago. There's a baby bee 
that's hatching right now and I can't find the darn thing. It is the neatest thing to watch them just crawl out of there for the very first time. I don't watch it very often. Oh, there it is. You see, right there, okay. I'm gonna stop this video and start another one with it facing the other direction so you can see that baby bee being born because that's a really cool thing to watch.